Hey everyone, Zero JD here with the X-Play Fans Channel. I'm here to give you a quick taste of Dauntlet, a free-to-play, uh, cross-play, uh, Monster Hunter-like game where you are, for those who are not familiar with Monster Hunter, you are uh, hunting these behemoths, killing them, taking bits of them, making armor and weapons, and essentially repeating that and going on, finding bigger, badder monsters and doing all that kind of fun stuff like that. If you have played Monster Hunter, a lot of this will be very familiar with the uh, kind of gameplay loop and all that kind of fun stuff like that. Uh, you'll see people running around here. That guy actually, uh, Simple right there, has a little Xbox logo next to him. He's playing on an Xbox, and uh, uh, the ginger god over here has uh, a PC next to him, so he is actually playing on PC. I'm actually in the uh, hub town right now where you can craft stuff, see the cosmetic store, craft uh, little goodies and stuff like that. And actually right over here is a thing where you open these cores, which are essentially loot boxes, which you uh, get from go, uh, leveling up your mastery, which I'll explain later. And they give you like these little fun stuff. These cells are essentially augments for your weapons and all that kind of fun stuff like that. So that one uh, will give you like a chance to double, deal double damage, more part damage. Uh, like in uh, Monster Hunter, the uh, monsters actually have their body and then they have parts of them like their tail, their head, and all that kind of fun stuff, which you can actually break off pieces and get more materials. That guy over there allows you to fuse cells, but... I don't do that because I'm one of those people who are who is very paranoid about wasting your stuff. And this lady gives you quests. Speaking of quests, uh, you have your quest log, which is your quest log. You have your little challenges, which you will get uh, uh, heart seekers, which are used to level up your hunt pass here, which is essentially the battle pass. You get uh, goodies, cosmetics, consumables. You have the store, which the cosmetics, uh, more consumables you can buy with uh, bought currency and all that kind of fun stuff like that. Masteries are essentially like, hey, the more you use, uh, you do something, the uh, higher you will get in that level. So if I want to level up my chain blade, which I've been using, I can go and uh, break behemoth parts. I can do more damage to behemoths. I can uh, use a specific like neutral, uh, non-elemental damage uh, pair or a pair that has fire damage kind of stuff like that. And as you level those up, or like, and then the same for like the behemoths, kill this beh sort of behemoth, kill this behemoth in this certain armor kind of fun stuff like that you can see here so like for this guy you want to kill him in his own armor you want to hunt them uh, and create all the armor pieces or weapons for him and all that kind of stuff will do that as you level that up that upgrades uh, unlocks uh, different upgrades and all that kind of fun stuff like that so right now I can only upgrade my chain blades to level uh, four I can once I get to level eight I can actually upgrade them to level five chain blades here as I level them up I actually will get a uh, mods and uh different attacks for them and all that kind of fun stuff like that so while we're actually on the concept of that here is your uh, loadout you got my weapons and then you got your armor and uh your lantern all that kind of fun stuff bottom right is consumables right are the perks you can get and i'll explain that in a second uh my weapons you can actually pick from uh these uh just normal swords axes hammers chain blades pikes and uh the uh guns Guns are really interesting because you're not actually uh, leveling up the gun by itself. You're upgrading the bits of the gun. Like the uh, like this standard barrel lets me do uh, normal damage, and then like it gives me uh, the ability to shoot missiles, or it like, gives me the ability to like power up people. So actually, let's go and switch on back over to my blades here. We're actually going to switch to these guys right here, and this is going to give me a uh, good thing. So the Reaper Stance is one of the uh, abilities you get. And like I said before, the uh, uh, the uh, as you level up the mastery and stuff like that, you'll get more of those. And then, uh, so you have cells, which you can actually bring over from other stuff. So I'm going to bring over these wound damage cells, which will actually give me, uh, like, hey, this actually gives you more, uh, 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 like, flat-out wound damage. And then you, you can do the same for all these other stuff. Uh, cells can actually just be moved around. They are not stuck on one item. So if you'll look at the right, uh, right here, I actually have plus two guardian. You're probably wondering, why is it plus two? That's because the more cells that you have that share the same sort of uh, ability, they will go up. So this is like, if you saw, it says two there. If I move over to nine lives, that will change to plus one guardian, but I have nine lives there. And that essentially is the same for everything here. So let's see what uh, power cells. Stag stagger, no. Increases your damage, no. Do, do, do. Increases damage when your health is low. Part damage, so that's really good there. So my toughness is level four. I have enough cells to make it to a level four toughness. It is now gonna give me an extra 250 health. 
The lantern is a separate item that you use with the uh, left bump, uh, the left bumper, which uh, this one here, you actually, if you tap it, you get a shield. If you hold it, it actually creates a whirlwind of uh, earth items that will damage your uh, your enemy, which I really like. And I got my consumables here. The uh, uh, the uh, you bring a maximum of five of these consumables on each uh, directional pad, and the health potion is always refilled. The Slayer tonic. Personality is essentially titles, uh, emotes, banners. Move list is a move list. So we're actually going to go over here, and I'm going to show you the crafting. Crafting is essentially you're collecting pieces, you're creating an item, and then you're upgrading it. You might need to do some grinding, but it's never, never, like, never crazy bad. So let's talk to you. And they give you quests and stuff like that. So if I wanted to, I could actually, like, create this, and it'll be like, hey, this is strong against, this is, like, like, if it's strong against, like, the, the fire blades I had before, they are strong against uh, ice. So that would give me an additional damage and all that kind of fun stuff versus that. Same thing with the armor. You should wear armor that is strong against, like, if you're fighting a fire creature, wear fire armor. Don't wear fr frost armor. All right. And then that's where you get the lantern and stuff like that. Uh, if, if any of this is confusing, they actually explain it very, very, very well when you actually first get, when you get to those points in the game. Uh, I have patrols and pursuits. Pr uh, pursuit is essentially you are fighting this one, you're trying to track down and fight this one monster. Patrol is essentially, hey, one of these monsters could appear here. And as you can see, I have neutral, blaze, frost, shock, and terra, all the different types. We're actually going to go after this lesser ember main, uh, mostly because, uh, actually, no, let's not go after him. He'll be a little too easy. Let's go after this uh, lesser draska. Uh, I would do one of the harder ones, but those could take up to about like, uh, at this point, depending on who I have with me, uh, up to like 15, 20 minutes or longer. You know, one of them felt like it dragged on for a little bit. Uh, I haven't had any issues with matchmaking. The way it kind of works is it uh, first it prepares the hunt and then it finds people. Oh, we're already found a match. Wow. Oh, wow. That's actually a lot faster than normal. And so far I've been paired up with like PC people, Xbox people, and it's been plenty of fun. So as you can see here, uh, against him, tarot weapons are better. Shock weapons are not because he is shock. He actually also has a... a uh, armor against him you want to use a shock armor against him so he's going to be really easy but it's going to it'll at least send at least give you a sense of how like the hunt works uh harder enemies will have a rage state where they'll have extra attacks and all that kind of fun stuff like that uh they'll also later enemies like once you've damaged them enough they'll run away and you'll have to track them down and uh so far i've enjoyed it a lot as you can see on the left here i have two pc people and an xbox person with me and we're gonna jump on in yeah. Uh, the upper left, you will see I have that little gem thing. That's my lantern. I can activate it once I get charges on it. I have my health, which is the green, and then the yellow is my stamina. Stamina is used for, I believe, running in combat. And uh, it use, it's used for heavy attacks, which is Y. X is for light attacks. And then I have, I can if, if I do one, two, three, and then I hold the Y button... I do that. Uh, below that is actually the build-up for my special ability, which allows me to uh, attach to enemies and pull myself to them and then launch myself backwards. As I run around, I can actually pick up goodies. Uh, bottom right, you'll see my consumables. And then the top right, which took me a while to figure out I had to look it up, it's actually the danger meter, and it goes up in combat. And if you get to 100, uh, they will uh, you will not be able to revive your allies anymore. I hear, actually, I believe I hear them fighting somewhere. Usually, uh, people launch the flyer to let you know uh, what's what. Uh, you can do your emotes with the uh, left uh, the left bumper or left trigger. I'm gonna plant my banner here. Bam. Right trigger is uh, run. You can remap stuff if you want. All right, let's go find this dude. Sounds like someone may have been found him already. I think he's over here. And usually what you want to do once you encounter the creature, you want to send up the flare. A lot of people I've seen have been, uh, don't really collect stuff. They kind of 
head straight towards where the enemy is. There he is. So once you spot him, you kind of want to launch the flare and off you go into battle. And off we go into the races. And of course, there are different status effects and all that kind of fun stuff like that. Uh, if you can dodge, actually, if you dodge to the uh, behemoth's attack, you actually have full immunity to it. Uh, you can actually cut off bits of them, so if I keep like focusing on this tail, it'll come off. I've encountered... Uh... Oop. So one of my perks just activated. This guy is not really worth dodging. Oh, I forgot to show you my uh, ability. Pull myself to him and I can launch myself off. But uh, so far I've enjoyed this. It's very much Monster Hunter light. It's a lot easier to get into. Sadly, there are no Palicos. There's no lock-on as far as I've found. Oh, there goes his tail. I'm going to drop some of these little uh, heart seekers, which, like I said before, level up, help level up your battle pass. Oh, he... So if I tap my uh, ability, it gives me a shield, and if I hold it, it'll summon these rocks. And I believe I have an ability that shares my shield with other people. So they're going to get a little bit of a buffer there. And then if I hold it, if I do enough damage to its face, I can break it. I could be dodging, but that's not really, like, crazy important. Oh, there's another uh, eyeball, or his eye got hurt. My uh, issue with the... Um, the reason I, I, I use the guns for a while, the issue is with them, uh, when you're reloading, you can't actually dodge. But they do have a feature of if you reload while you're close to an enemy, it absorbs their essence and gives you a uh, empowered state. As you can see, as we're fighting, the uh, danger of this is kind of going up. And if you, uh, let's say if they're like charging and you do a heavy attack, you can actually cause them to stumble and fall. But we have defeated him. This is a very, very uh, easy hunt. And at the end of it, it gets scores you and all that kind of fun stuff like that. And then you get to learn all your crazy stats and fun stuff like that. But that's Dauntless. I'm very much enjoying this a lot. I might actually go and buy the Battle Pass at some point for this. Uh, it's been out on PC for a while, so and it seems to have a very healthy uh, community. Uh, I had like absolutely, like I had some issues finding a match, but it was like, oh hey, I jumped on Twitter. Oh, that's a server issue. It's not like there's no one. There's no one playing. Let's actually go open this little core and then we'll end it there. And of course, if you want, you can do solo hunts and all that kind of fun stuff. But uh, that's Dauntless. Uh, I really like that these cells uh, that you use to augment can be used on anything, and you can just switch them around as you need. Uh, I am Azure JD. This is the XWA Fan Channel. If you are a fan of Monster Hunter or if you're curious about this at all, pick this up. This is a lot of fun. It's free. It's got crossplay. Uh, thank you so much. I am Zero JD. This is the XWA Fan Channel. Eh, why not add me? I'll, I'll go and hunt with you. There goes an invisible person. Who knows what's up? Also, there's these rams that are everywhere, and I don't, I don't know what's up with that. Can't ride them, though. Huh. Look at me go. Thank you, guys. See ya. Still bouncing.